624, time for the stories that are trending now. If you're not a hockey fan, you might not know that one of the best players in the world right now is Austin Matthews of the Toronto Maple Leafs. The 22-year-old is a brilliant goal scorer, but also a pretty good teammate. Take a look at this. During the team's game last night against the Florida Panthers, a teammate lost his stick on the ice. Watch this. With his stick, he flips it backwards behind his back. No look right back into his teammate's hands. Let's see if we can see it again. Watch. Picks up the stick, oh, there we go. flips it in the air. The teammate's like, oh, thanks a lot. I was looking for that. <laughs> That's pretty good. Wow. That is awesome. One woman got the surprise of a lifetime for her 100th birthday. Helen Hubbard of Carthage, Missouri, was celebrating last Love week that. with her family and friends. Isn't that great? She opened one of her birthday cards <laughs> And there were tickets to yesterday's Kansas City Chiefs playoff game. Wow. Helen's a big fan, and wow, that was quite the present. That's Am I fantastic. No, I always talk this loud and cry. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have thought I was going to get that in a hundred years. Oh. <laughs> hey, that's a good life. That's great. The Chiefs ended up winning the game too, all for Helen's birthday. Happy birthday, Helen! All right, a six-year-old boy in Ohio who beat cancer got a surprise when he returned to school. His classmates gave him a standing ovation after he finished his last round of chemotherapy. <laughs> <laughs> John Oliver Zippe had been battling leukemia for the past three years. So after hearing the good news, John's school organized a celebration last Wednesday. John is a really smart kid. Even though he missed lots of time in the classroom, his parents say he never fell behind in school. Aww, That's cool. Good sweet. for them. Good for him. Well, a college student found a 14 karat gold pendant buried in the sand in Virginia earlier this month. Keep it. The pendant <laughs> has a picture of a man and three words on the back saying, I love you. Well, Homer Thomas Elitis found the rightful owner after going on Facebook and then delivered the jewelry on Friday at her home. Oh, that's so cool. How, I wonder, how, that's so cool. Mm, the power of social media, right? Found the right person. Lynn Colacone says the, the inscribed portrait on the pendant is her late father. How special it was stolen in a burglary four years ago. Oh my God. I never in my lifetime thought I'd have is emotional. Wow, isn't that amazing? Back to its rightful owner. Love that. Oh. And you'll note that Scott Haney's instinct was to go to good old Tom. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh... We'll be back with more Channel 3 Eyewitness News right after this.